Welcome back, folks, once again to Next Gen Digital. I'm once again back with my most favorite app, Evernote. But this time, we are going to talk something very different. So I would suggest that please see this video until end. If you use Evernote extensively and have been using it for a long time, like I have been using, I'm sure you have hundreds and thousands of notes which are available within your application irrespective whether it is a Mac or iOS or Windows. This makes it very hard sometimes within Evernote to start tracking all the information or looking for that specific note within those thousand notes. Well, you can always use the powerful tagging system within Evernote or the search functionality which exists within Evernote. Search functionality in Evernote is great. It's excellent. It's seamless talking about Evernote as an organization and its CEO, Ian Small, has been working very diligently in the last about couple of years in making various different enhancements on this application. I have seen some of these applications as a part of the beta version. It's great. It's very seamless. But unfortunately, I cannot share that with you and with the wider audience unless until there is a formal release of it. So one of the capabilities which does not exist in Evernote is having a dashboard. I've done some of the earlier videos on creating a dashboard and it's like a workaround system. It's not very seamless, but it does help in creating those. I'm going to leave some cards up here and also in the description below some of my earlier videos and please do check it out if you have not. Some of the other Evernote experts and consultants like Stacey Harmon, Carl Poulain, Enrico Naller, they have provided some great tips and tricks and hacks actually for getting creative with Evernote. Today in this video, I'm going to make some recommendations on how to be more efficient and creative while we are creating dashboards. And let's see how it goes and do let me know your comments in the description section by the end of this video. Thank you so much. Let's get going. A quick recap on how to create a dashboard. Creating a link to a note. So you have multiple notes and the key is to create a link to one note or a table of contents. I've created a note and named this as my dashboard. I will go to a note, which I would like to access it from my dashboard. Right click on a note, copy the note link and paste it on your dashboard. This way you can access your notes right from here. The next quick tip is to creating a table of contents for multiple notes. Now imagine a scenario where you have hundreds and thousands of notes within a notebook and you need to have a quick access to them without searching them. Like let's say your weekly planning tasks or recipes or travel plans and so on. Simply select your multiple notes, right click and create a table of contents. Now right click the TOC or the table of contents and copy the link and paste that link to your dashboard like this. Getting into the creativity and making these dashboards more efficient for you, here are a few tips that you will find helpful. You can take the paper post-it notes and write on it, let's say, to do or work or anything and scan it using your Evernote camera. And Paste that note, which you have just scanned in your table on the Evernote dashboard note. Now you will have a picture representation and makes it more presentable. Here is a sample which can be built to streamline your workflow and you can link these notes with your respective notes, like I mentioned earlier. Similarly, you can have a dashboard, not only with the link of your notes, but also your favorite websites and access them without starting from your browser. So like this, have a picture of weather and embed it with a link. 
have a Google Calendar with a link behind it and start planning your day or week or month right away. You wish to read the latest news? Create a link to your favorite news channel. Similarly, you can have access to YouTube, Google Drive, Dropbox, and many more right from your dashboard. I've created many dashboard samples which you can download. Here are a few samples for your reference and you can customize them as per your needs. You can download these from a link I will be providing in the description below for a nominal fee or consider this as a donation to my efforts and this will get you started. Thanks for your time once again and do subscribe to our channel if you're new. We at NextGen Digital come up with one video every week, every Thursday morning. So please stay tuned for our further action and further videos on productivity, digital transformation, as well as personal growth. Thanks for your time.